So in this clip I'll explain how to do the data cleaning of the instructions and your almost clean survey file. Now, Firstly there's work to be done in the PC question which includes the postcodes and the countries and you'll find that some people answer the same country but slightly differently. So let's see, there's a lot of Malaysia, but for instance here Bulgaria and Bulgarian. Really we want the same answer. Up there there's more Bulgaria and let's see where we can find other cases of this happening. Well, to find them the best thing is highlight everything, go to filter and the auto filter and then click on the little arrow next to PC and you can see all possible outcomes. There's for instance Bulgaria and Bulgarian uh, there's China, but let's go to the Brazil. I first unclick everything, so let's select all who answered Brazil, but in two different versions. Now they all look the same, but some of them may have a rogue space. So we copy the first one and then paste and paste and paste and paste all the others. So now they are all the same. So let's select all again and look at Brazil. Now we only have one Brazil. Okay, and you can do exactly the same uh, with the other countries where we have doubles. For instance here Bulgaria and Bulgarian, there's one Bulgarian so basically here we want to uh, copy Bulgaria and paste over the Bulgarian. So we have, so we'll do copy and paste and now we only have Bulgaria. Uh, let's check again whether that's correct. There's only one Bulgaria left. Okay, so this is how we clean this up. Uh, we can remove the filter. So let's go to the travel time column. That's where most of the work needs to be done. So that you can see there's lots of some have answered numbers only which is what we want but others have answered minutes and stuff. So to get rid of all the minutes what we'll do is just highlight the minutes here then go to find and replace, copy paste that in and replace all. We just leave endly, end empty okay and then replace so that has gone there's another minutes here so we copy that the previous one had a space so we'll um, go again to find and replace we paste that in leave the replace with clean and replace all and there's a min so we basically go through all the extra stuff that's in there and we want to delete it. So for instance here there's mint, so we highlight that, including the space and go to find and replace again. We put the mints in, replace with, we leave it blank, replace all and now all the mints have gone. So uh, now we'll also take that space away because there will be a few, 17 there were and um, we know there are terms where people have just answered min with or without space so we replace them all okay so let's see how many we have eliminated most of the rogue characters we have eliminated so da, there's another few down here for instance a minute walk so well just it's easiest to just retype those that was just a few here it's just 15, 15, 45 and 20. So now we have October, that's a date, so we'll just um, delete that. Okay, it's a nonsensical answer. Then let's see what else do we find there. Half hour for instance, that means 30 over 60 what did I say in the instructions? We replace that with 60. What else? Can we find 20? So of course 20. 5 per bike is just 5. I didn't... 15. Here we go. And we just go down and see where we have ours. 15 by bus. 20 to 30. Let's see what the instructions are. If we have a range, we'll enter the highest number. That's an assumption. Now several times, once a week, that's nonsensical answers. It may actually be that this is my translation software from Blackboard that caused that, but hey. So what else are we looking for? Let's go for 17.6, a decimal number, so we'll round that 
up. I think there were some instructions down here at the last bullet point. We just round this up, so that's fine. And that's a range. We always take the largest. That was 10, 5 to 10, which is be 10, about 10, about 20 is 10 and 20. Again, nonsensical answers. We take them out. 40. Okay. So here we have. So now we have all numbers. Now, however, problem is that not all of these are treated as numbers. You can see some are left and some right adjusted. Turns out Excel thinks some of them are text. The easiest way to do is create a new column. Just calculate one times the value everywhere. Okay. And then that is translated into numbers, but there are a few cases here, for instance, well, you didn't recognize 20 as a number. So we'll just type 20 in again, and then it will recognize it. Let's see where we can find more of these. So here, for instance, I'll we'll just type 15 in, or 15, that's a 20. Doesn't look different, but sometimes for some reason, Excel thinks that this is not a number. Don't ask me, I'm not a Microsoft engineer, so just type this all in and then you can see Excel recognizes them as numbers. There we have another one. Um, 20, so 18, 15, okay, we'll just find a few more here. 2515 and I think that's it okay so what we now basically do we highlight all this entire column you can see here the instructions we copy that entire new column then copy and paste into the TT column so copy and now paste values so that means the formulas have gone we just have the values and we can delete that column and now we have a nice value with times. However, what that also meant, the empty cells were now translated into zeros, but we don't want zero travel times where we don't have a reasonable answer. So what we're going to do is we just sort, all highlight the entire spreadsheet, sort according to TT, and you can see we have at the beginning, we have a few zeros, and basically all we're going to do is we delete these. Okay, and then we have empty cells for no answers, which is what we wanted for these. Okay, so this looks all good. Now the average of this, if you've done all the translations correctly, should be 20.0744. If you get that number, then you know you've uh, done the data cleaning correctly. So now we'll see where we can find someone who cheated and only made up answers. So let me... Okay, that was the 20.0744 we saw in the, f uh, in the instructions files. Let's uh, sort all observations according to student number. This is not the real student number, that's one I made up, but the same number means same student in the first column. Okay, so you can see the first student has given five answers. Well done, student number one, all sorts of different answers. Uh, here, for instance, the 12th student only asked Malaysian females. Uh, that could, of course, be be true. And let's see where we can find some unusual pattern. Something unusual. I'll just scroll down. There are several things we may be looking at. But, ah, uh, here, yeah, student number 85. Okay. Um, Everyone has given exactly the same answer. Well, at least students 2 to 5. Okay, so it's student number 85. Thanks for being lazy. 